zoo, the best place in the whole world. All right, guys, let's go have a fun day, and I'm going to tell you about all the animals. <laughs> Perfect. The PJ Master at the zoo the same time as me. Well, let's see if I can make it an unpleasant day for him. Yeah. You know, Gecko, this looks a little bit small to be a zoo. I mean, well, what's this thing up here? Uh, Catboy, Catboy, I, I wouldn't stand right in front of that rock wall. Yeah. Ah, Catboy standing right in front of the breakaway wall. Time to have fun. All right, you penguin, shoo, shoo, come on, go through the wall. What's the matter? You don't speak English or something? I said go through that rock wall. Good go, I think you worry too much. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm just standing right in front of these. <laughs> well, I told you to be careful, Catboy. That's the penguin exhibit up there, and they tend to come to those rocks. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, perfect. Time for more prints. <laughs> now, this is an ancient ruin. As you can see here, it depicts a lion on top of a rock. Then up at the top, there's a lion that kind of looks like the sun. And hey, Gecko, what's this rock piece here? Ha, Catboy, don't touch that. It... Ah! Oops, sorry about that. All right, Catboy, new rule. No touching anything. Now let's just go see another animal exhibit. <laughs> now gather around, everyone. This is the new monkey exhibit. Oh, boy, look at them climb. Well, if you're interested in how they climb, there's this little clip right here that you can use, and it can mimic a monkey climbing. Oh, boy, sounds fun. Let me climb in. <laughs> now I have some real fun with that climber. <laughs> Better not let the PJ Mask see me and Zippo. Oh boy, enjoy that thing, cat boy. All right, cat boy. Now remember, this thing's a little sensitive, so be. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Get me down from here! This thing's going crazy! Whoa! You know, Catboy, maybe you shouldn't try any more things today. Okay, okay, we're finally back up here. Now what I was telling you before Catboy pushed me off the ledge is that up here is an ancient lion ruin. And it's very... Hey, that, that looks actually like a bun or something. Here, let me touch it. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, Catboy, don't jump up there. <laughs> Whoa! Oops, sorry about that, Gecko. Like I told you, Catboy, don't touch anything. <laughs> this is working out perfectly. Catboy's so clumsy that they don't even realize half the pranks are from me. <laughs> okay, I'm back up here again. Next, I want you to look at this waterfall right here. <laughs> Perfect. Gecko is right below me. How about a little boulder to the head? Well, it's definitely a cool waterfall and all, but what's with that tilting rock up there? <laughs> a little rocking of the boulder ought to do it. One, two... Wait, what tilting rock? Three! Whoa! No, sorry about that, Gecko, but that time I didn't do anything. Oh boy, cat boy, I think when you just look at something, it tends to knock me off that ledge. Ugh. Okay, everyone, now this is the elephant exhibit. This isn't a real elephant, it's just on a turntable. Don't worry, Gecko, I'll be real careful this time. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we get this turntable going super fast. And Zippo! Oh no, oh no, the turntable's going crazy! Catboy, what did you do this time? Okay, now we're in the canopy of the trees in the last exhibit of the day. Now if you look up, you'll be able to see a very rare bird. Now Catboy, you especially be careful. We're standing on an ancient catapult. And if you trigger it, we're gonna go flying. Me <laughs> catapult, he says. Well, that's music to my ears. 
All right, here goes nothing. So make sure to not touch a thing. Whoa! Oh man, cat boy. Don't worry, I've got Gecko super climbing powers. I'll come and save you. Yeah, that worked perfectly. All right, I guess my job here today is done. Tomorrow, taking over the world. All right, hang on. Here I come, guys. Oh, boy, Catboy, I don't know what's gotten into you today, but you've been super clumsy. <laughs> Wait a minute, was that? No way, it couldn't be. All right, guys, just hold on. It was a nice peaceful night at Gecko's house. Gecko was in his room trying to get his homework done for next day's class. And in fact, he was concentrating so much that he didn't see Luna Girl peeking through his window. So you can imagine his shock when he finally looked over and saw her staring at him. Now Luna Girl was not the type of person you wanted staring in your window, so Gecko decided to go out and see what she was doing. But as soon as he walked outside, he knew he was in trouble because Luna Girl had the Luna Magnet. She charged it up and suddenly Gecko started to float. He was being magnetized by the Luna Magnet, and now she had him in her control. Now not very long after that, Luna Girl paid a visit to Catboy's house. Now it looked like the door was open, so she just walked right in. Now Catboy had a big test the next day, so he was already going to sleep when Luna Girl walked into his room. She quickly charged up the magnet again and magnetized him to float, and off they went. As Luna Girl floated Catboy out of the house, he didn't even wake up. He was a deep sleeper. And lastly, Luna Girl visited Owlette, who was still at school. Owlette had a homework assignment that she was working on and feverishly trying to get done. So she didn't even notice when Luna Girl crept up right behind her. I guess that homework assignment wasn't gonna get done now because Luna Girl charged up the Luna Magnet and raised Owlette in the air. Owlette had no idea what was going on but was surprised to see Luna Girl and Luna Girl led her out of the school. Well, Owlette thought at least she could have the other PJ Masks save her until she saw the other two hanging in the air. Oh no, all three PJ Masks had been captured by Luna Girl. Luna Girl was magnetizing each one of them and she led them away. They had no idea where they were going. Luna Girl led them all the way into the city and she kept going. Finally, they stopped at an old abandoned firehouse. She let them around the back to finally see what was going on. Gecko and Catboy turned their heads and looked around and oh no, Romeo. So he was behind this evil plan. Romeo knew that Luna Girl was there so he turned around. Finally, Luna Girl let each of the PJ Masks down softly or not so softly. Next, Catboy was also dropped down. Now the PJ Masks had been magnetized for so long they were weak and so they couldn't even get up. Now Romeo went over and told them of his evil plan. He explained to them that the PJ Masks had always defeated them. There was the time when Romeo tried to steal all of the bank's money. But right as soon as he got outside, Gecko was waiting for him in his Gecko mobile. And this exploit landed him in jail. And then there was the time that Romeo stole a helicopter. But Owlette and her owl glider caught him. And that exploit landed him in jail. There was the time that he stole the tractor and went through the streets of the city, but that was quickly thwarted by Catboy in his cat car. And of course, that also landed him in jail. As a matter of fact, everything he did landed him in jail, and he was tired of it. Now even though Owlette and Catboy had been placed on the ground, Gecko was still suspended in the air by Luna Girl, and Romeo went to go get his new and improved electrode. He called it the Plushinator, and this was gonna fix all of his problems. Luna Girl dropped down Gecko very slowly, as opposed to Catboy and Owlette. And right as soon as he hit the ground, Romeo shocked him, and oh no, Gecko was turned into a giant plush PJ Masks. Romeo had decided that even though they were now bigger, they were too soft to do anything about it, and they were too big to fit into their vehicles and catch him when he
he's doing crazy things. And he was right. All Gecko could do was sort of maneuver towards him very slowly, and his hands were too soft to grab the electrode. Now the next one up was Owlette, and so Luna Girl raised her up, and she was lowered softly down right in front of Romeo. He quickly shot her with the electrode, and she too became giant and plush, and too weak and slow to stop Romeo. Now the last one was Catboy, so Luna Girl lifted him up, didn't travel him far and had him sit right down in front of Romeo. Now as Outlet and Gecko were hoping that Catboy had a plan, Romeo shot from the electrode a third time and Catboy was also changed into a plush giant. Now Romeo was so happy he went to test his new theory and he brought in Outlet's owl glider which he had previously stolen. Now Owlette, seeing the owl glider, tried to jump inside. She slowly moved up, but unfortunately, she couldn't fit just like Romeo had predicted. And as hard as Owlette tried to move the glider, she couldn't fly it. Now as Luna Girl went to congratulate Romeo on a job well done, she tripped. And the Luna Magnet flew right into Gecko's hand. Now Gecko was slow because he was now a plush giant, but he knew exactly how to use the Lunar Magnet. So he raised his arms and tried to magnetize the electrode. And the electrode suddenly flew out of Romeo's hand and flew right into Catboy's hand. Now Romeo ran towards Catboy to get his electrode back, but it was too late. And Catboy shot the electrode at Romeo. And this shot back Romeo. And Romeo had also been turned into a plush giant. Luna Girl suddenly looked up and saw Romeo and it scared her and she ran off leaving her Luna Magnet behind. Romeo pleaded and asked them to turn him back into a regular person and not this plush giant. But Catboy just shook his head. Instead, he turned Gecko back, he turned Outlet back, and finally Catboy was changed back to his regular self. And even though Romeo tried to destroy him, the PJ Masks were good guys. And so they changed Romeo back. But then they also immediately levitated him using the Luna Magnet. And they sent Romeo back to his favorite place. And that was jail, of course. Only this time he got to be upside down. Have fun, Romeo. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Toys Review Toys channel. Let me know in the comments who your favorite PJ Masks is. Is it Gecko? Is it Catboy? Or is it Owlette? and then click on a picture to watch another fun video. Have a great day.